In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Groupon style offer bot using ManyChat. Hello there, bot builders. I am excited to be coming to you today to show you how to build a Groupon offer, but instead of paying Groupon 50% of your profits, we are cutting out the middleman and using a messenger bot to get the job done. This is a fun build, so let's jump into ManyChat and get to it. All right, so the first place that we're gonna go is to our settings. Under settings, go to integrations and make sure that you have your Google Sheets integrations already connected because we are gonna be using Google Sheets to bring in custom coupon codes, or in this case, we're gonna call them custom voucher codes. Now I did a previous video just on that topic, how to use Google Sheets in order to bring in coupon codes, which you can check out, I'll link down below. But in this case, we're gonna integrate it with our whole idea of creating a Groupon offer. So make sure that that is integrated. The next step is you're going to go over to your custom fields. We're going to create two custom fields and one bot field in order to accomplish our Google Sheets integration with the coupon codes. So the first custom field that we want to create, if we go over here to new user field, is voucher code one or coupon code one, whatever you want to call it. That is a textile user field or cuff. And we're gonna click on the blue create button. Now I already have these created, so I'm gonna skip that. The next one we're gonna create is called a user voucher ID. And that is also a text. So go ahead and create that. Next, we're gonna go scroll down to where we can see bot fields. We're gonna create a bot field and this bot field we're gonna call voucher ID. Now this is actually going to be a number and this is gonna track where we are in terms of giving away the vouchers. And that's gonna make more sense in just a moment when we hop on over to Google Sheets. So go ahead and create that. Now let's head over to Google Sheets and I'm gonna show you this really simple setup in how to store all of your coupon codes and the place where we're gonna grab them for our Messenger Bot campaign. Now in this case, I'm doing a Groupon style offer for a pizza parlor where the user is gonna pay $10 to get a large pizza with as many toppings as they want with the regular value being $20. So we've created this spreadsheet as you can see and there's only two columns. We have our ID column and we have our voucher code column also known as a coupon code column, whatever you wanna call it. So the ID is just gonna basically show us where we are in the sequence so we aren't giving everybody the same coupon code. The voucher code is the unique coupon code that you're gonna use where people can use those in order to redeem their offers. Now, depending on what type of third-party tool you're using, you can use all kinds of coupon generators. That's probably the easiest bet, but make sure that whatever you choose as your coupon generator is going to integrate seamlessly on your cart for your website and in-store POS system. So we have our ID and we have our voucher codes. Now let's head over back into ManyChat and create this flow. Now I actually already created this flow to save us some time today. And I'm just gonna go in here and walk you through step-by-step step on how I created it. So the very first step that I created here is actually a condition. We're going to check if that person already created the coupon code, but that's actually not where you're gonna start the build. We are gonna start the build right here in our first message. So the first message, we're basically just going to thank people for their interest and reiterate what it is that they're getting. So in this case, thank you for your interest in the large unlimited topping pizza offer. You pay only $10 with a $10 savings, limit one per customer. This would also be a great place to add a button here or a quick reply where people can go to your terms of service for this offer. Now I use a user input, which I grab right down here and the user input is an email user input. We wanna grab the user's email. So we say, please confirm your email below by clicking or typing an alternate. If you do not see your email, type it below because some people don't see that auto-generated email. Now the reply type is email. We are not doing a system field. We are doing custom fields. This is different than system fields. So we're gonna save our response to a custom field. In this case, I'm saving it to email underscore address. And we wanna make sure that the skip is gone. We do not want to allow people to skip in this case. Now, once they have given us their email, they will go to the next block, which is to purchase the offer. 
And as you can see here, I just have a message block, a regular message block at the top. It says, great, thanks first name. And I use the little bracket here to pull in their first name. If you're ready to buy this special offer, please click the buy now button below. Now, in terms of your shopping cart, you're going to need to go into your settings and make sure that you integrate either Stripe or PayPal. In this case, I've integrated Stripe. So once you have your cart set up, you can set up a buy button, but they only work with certain features. You can't just put a button here, for instance, and you'll see it shaded out. I can't add a buy button to a regular text box. So what I wanna do instead is create either a card, a gallery, or in my case here, I've created an image. So I just did an image. I actually inserted a GIF, and if you wanna see how my GIF works, it's just a melty pizza. Mm, makes you hungry, doesn't it? And that doesn't have to be a GIF. It could be a regular image. And then a buy now button, which I customized to look just like what I told people to click above. Now we're gonna put in the price of our offer. In this case, it's $10. We are going to name the offer. The offer I created is 10 underscore pizza underscore offer. And we are gonna bring in additional data because we've already asked people for their email. We're gonna bring that into the cart to make their shopping experience so much easier. And then you are going to go down to the pre-filled email address, whatever you save their email address in the last block, that's what you're gonna put here and click done. Now the user will not progress to the next block or to next action until they finish their purchase. So you don't have to worry about anything after this going in front of people who have yet to purchase. So we're gonna go to the next block and that action is going to be pizza offer purchase. We are adding a tag here and that is just action add tag. And I named my tag pizza offer purchased. Now really quick, I'm gonna go back to the very beginning where I mentioned I had a condition. This is where the condition starts to come into play. The condition is checking for that tag that we just applied, the pizza offer purchase, because we don't want people to purchase more than one offer in this case. So if they've already purchased this offering, then it's gonna say, sorry, it seems like you've already received this. You can also put something in there about if this is a mistake or if you believe this is a mistake, we could talk to a human and you can add that element. If they do not have that tag, that means they haven't purchased yet, then we can go into the messages that we created. Now make sure once you add this offer that you move your starting step from this block down here up to your condition or your condition won't work. Now let's cruise on back to our action where we added the tag and go to the next block, which is to give the offer to the end user. Now at this point, you have two options. You can create a redeem button, and basically this allows people to access their coupon code and redeem it right there. This is really great if you're in store. Or if you wanted to skip all this, you could skip ahead and I'll tell you at that point when we get there and just give them their custom coupon code. It really depends on how you wanna set this up. I've set up the longer version for you so that you can see how it's done. So here I just said, basically I just put that gift back in there, but you could do a custom image. Maybe you do a nifty images with like custom text, whatever you're into. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to have an image here. And we just said, you're all set. When you are ready to redeem, just order your pizza via our online portal or call. Be sure to let us know that you will be using this offer before you finish placing your order. Now I've set this particular wording up for COVID kind of pandemic situation where we are not redeeming in store. Obviously when restaurants are starting to open up again, you can add that kind of commentary about show your server when you are ready to check out or what have you, or before you order. Now they're gonna click redeem, and what I'm gonna do here is create a condition to check if they've already redeemed this offer. Now keep in mind that in this case, for this whole build that we're building, we're creating custom coupon codes. So these extra steps are actually not necessary in terms of once they use that coupon code, that's the only coupon code they get. But in this particular build, I've added it because I don't want people to go back and rebuy them or use multiple coupon codes, or maybe I've set it up that I only have one coupon code and I'm not using unique coupon codes. I just wanna show you what is available to you. So in this case, I did create that 
condition to check if they've already redeemed the offer. If they did, I'm gonna say, sorry, you have no more offers. If they didn't, then we're gonna send them to another block that basically says, are you sure that you wanna redeem this offer? Now, Groupon has similar wording when you go to their vouchers. Once you use it, once you open it up, you can't really do anything after that. So we're just warning people. This is also a really great place to put in your terms of service. If your terms of service for this offer is really long, you can have an additional button that takes them to a website and just making sure that they understand you're about to redeem this offer. So then they click redeem, it's gonna tag them that they redeemed. That's where that condition we just talked about comes into play. And now the Google Sheet magic starts happening. So again, if you wanna skip over to the Google Sheet tutorial I did, I linked it down below, which just covers this, but we're gonna go over it right now as well, but I might go over it with maybe a little less detail than I did in that tutorial. So if you're a little confused after this, go watch that tutorial. So what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna do an action called Google Sheets action. And I'll click here and the Google Sheet action is get. We're getting from the row. We're gonna pull that data over into our bot. So the spreadsheet I am using is that pizza voucher spreadsheet, the spreadsheet right here that I created. And the worksheet is vouchers. If we go here, this is the worksheet down here. And then the lookup ID. I'm looking up the column and where I am in that column in order to deliver a unique coupon code that no one else has gotten. So in other words, I'm looking up this column right here, the ID column. So that's the lookup. The lookup value is our bot field that we created, the pizza voucher ID. And so the bot field, actually every time someone redeems this or every time someone grabs their coupon code for the first time, then it's going to increase by one, which you'll see here in a moment. So this is actually going to tell ManyChat we are in a specific place on this spreadsheet to deliver a specific coupon code or voucher code. So if the bot field says seven, then we're gonna go grab seven. If it has moved to nine, we'll go to the next one and so on and so forth. All right, so back over here, we have our Google columns over here, ID and voucher code, just like you see here, ID and voucher code. And we have to associate those with the custom fields that we created. So the ID is the pizza user voucher ID, which is a custom field. And then the voucher code is the pizza voucher. And that's actually saving that unique voucher code for this specific user. And then we're gonna click save. So we've created the pool or the get of data. Now we're gonna shoot over another condition. It's basically just going to check if we have any more coupon codes left. And if there are, then we're good to go, we're gonna keep going. If there's not, then we will actually probably create a little message here that says, hey, we're out of coupon codes. You can also put something here where you could say if the pizza voucher reaches a value of you know one or there's only 10 left and then you can notify an admin, that's another option that you can do here so that admins could go in and add more if they want so you never run out. The next action is to increase our bot field by one. As I've explained before, we want to make sure that we're constantly moving that because every time someone goes and grabs their coupon code, their unique coupon code, we need to move to the next column to deliver the next coupon code to the next person so that you're not giving the same coupon code to everybody. So that's our custom field here. So the way we do that is we just go to increase. We're going to do set custom field, increase the pizza voucher ID, which is a bot field, we're gonna increase it by one every time they go through this action. And finally, we get to the place that the end user actually hops to very quickly, which is delivering the coupon code. And I just said, here is your voucher code. And I just placed that custom user ID where we pulled in their coupon code and saved it to their custom field. So that's the pizza voucher custom field. And I just pulled it in right there. And the way I did that is I just go to these little brackets and I look for the pizza voucher and it's right there and you can see I just popped it in there. And then be sure to give this to your server when ordering your pizza on the phone or in person or put it in the coupon ID when ordering online. So I give clear instruction. This is basically the coupon code that they're using. And then I just did a link here to my favorite pizza place, shout out to Topper's Pizza. 
and people can go and order at that point. There you have it. Now you can create offers just like on Groupon, but without sacrificing all of your profits to the third party. If you have questions, please feel free to comment down below and don't forget to subscribe as we will be bringing you even more strategies, tips, and how-to videos here on the ManyChat channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and start building.